and then from there just reassemble it in the reverse order of disassembling. Basically start off with uh, the half of the main body with the cocking handle in it. Start in by putting the uh, the power tube in with the uh, screw holes on the outside. Put in the uh, front bolt, then the barrel housing, and that's pretty much molded, so you can't really put it in wrong. Put in your uh, your expansion chamber plug with the grooves to the bottom so that it kind of looks like it's a part of the main body. And then insert your back bolt so that uh, all the holes on the cocking handle and back bolt kind of line up. And make sure that uh, the top hole here is um, kind of on the top of the uh, the main body because you need to you need to insert this retaining bar attaches to the front bolt and the back bolt so that they're kind of one movement and you can see there if I pull it or move it at all the front one moves as well <clears throat> make sure the holes are lined up take your back block with your uh, cocking spring and bolt or spring and pin and uh, make sure that the head of the pin is inserted into the uh, middle of the back block and uh, make sure your black o-ring is around it as well. Insert uh, the spring into the silver part at the back bolt and then just kind of clip it on there and also it's molded so pretty much that's everything. Take your uh, paintball detainer little plastic piece here and uh, just kind of fit it into the mold that it's meant to. And then take your other half of the, uh, the body and pretty much just clip it on there. Everything, if everything's in there right, then you'll know because there will be no gaps around the edges and you'll hear a bit of a click when you put both pieces together. So then you know it's all correctly done. Uh, start off with the two valve screws on the, uh, the one side of the main body, just to get them out of the way so you don't forget them. So once you have the valve screws in, flip it over and insert the four body screws. Remember that there are three similar ones and one that's kind of longer. Save that long one for last. Take two of the, the normal size ones and insert them both into the front two holes. Take the third one and put it in the top rear hole. Take the longer one and put it in the hole that would be covered up completely by the whole uh, trigger grip.
once you have that together, this piece shouldn't come apart at all. And then from there you can then assemble the uh, trigger grip to the main body. Uh, pretty much just put it on so that uh, front is first and then the back will just clip on. Insert the two hex shaped screws and take the other screw ends with the allen key holes and make sure you hold the back so that it doesn't pop out and then just screw them in. Once you have those two screwed in, you only should have two screws left. Uh, the long and the short one that would attach the adapter to the bottom of the grip. Uh, short one to the front. Long one to the back. Then just screw those in. Once you have it all together, all you have to do now is uh, put on the extra parts like the barrel and the foregrip here. The uh, hopper neck, again push in the little nipple at the bottom and just slide it on. Make sure that it's actually covering the hole on the side of the body. And then just slip on your rear sight and tighten it up with your Allen key. Then once you have it all together, uh, what I usually like to do is uh, make sure that everything works. Try the cocking handle, make sure it comes back completely. Uh, put the safety on, make sure it doesn't fire. Take the safety off, make sure it fires. And uh, if you really want to go any further, throw on a hopper, some gas, and uh, a couple shots through, uh, through the barrel and uh, just to make sure it's all right. And that would be a complete disassemble and reassembly. Uh, thanks for your time. See you later.